Around and around it goes. Where he stops, no one knows. Okay, it's done. We, I know. I, I knew how it was gonna go. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I, I bet there's gonna be hearts here. I just want to break one. Okay. <laughs> It's there, the hearts are pretty ample in this dungeon, that's why I'm, I'm always thinking that there's gonna be hearts there. But wait, I, sh I shouldn't do that first. There we go, I do that. And then blow the poison away to clear the area for the sake of, so I don't accidentally run into things. Because <laughs> running in, pff, running into poison is just the sort of PK Gam thing to do. Like if, you, like if you leave it behind and forget about it, that is definitely something that I would do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hearts, hearts, hearts. Lock door, lock door, lock door. Well, just one lock door. But it is the lock door of doom, I tell you, of doom. Well, by the way, you could also blow enemies off, off the edge and into pits and stuff like that. Oh, what is... Is this loose? Like I was talking about in the last part? Well, let's find out. It certainly is loose. <laughs> A chest appears, and you can probably guess what's inside that chest. Could it be a key? Yeah, it's a key. A small key, to be precise. Oh, there you can always see if you have a key on the top screen there. What, what's, in, what's contained in that? Nothing? Okay. Because, yeah, those regenerating things sometimes contain the same item repeatedly for the sake of, like, farming for collectibles and stuff like that, or, or shootables, or... You'll, you'll see what I mean later on. But let's just not spoil things too much. It's just a thing of that, hey, yeah, yeah, it'll just inform you that that is a possibility for now. Got it? Good. Oh, and remember how I said before that if you crack the pots open, they usually lose their contents if you break them again? Yeah, see that? See that? Yeah. That's why I kind of want to leave them for the most part, if I can help it. Oh no, it's Mothula, not to be confused with the Godzilla the enemy of, I guess, rival of sorts. <laughs> and also, don't be confused by thinking it's a Mothim from Pokemon. No, it is most certainly not. So it's got skulls that it can shoot out at you. You can shoot wind out at it, but it goes like, oh no, and then it attacks you. Oh, pain. Oh, pain. So what, what What? What? can we do about such a formidable foe? Well, just get get your whirlwind out and wait for it to shoot a skull. Shoot the skull back at it and the skull will hit it in the face. <laughs> so I can't blow it back if there's a skull in there, basically. Uh, that should be a safe distance away from it. Well, we get ourselves set up for another whirlwind. There we go. Take that. Two hits, it's over. So it's not a difficult boss or anything if you know what to do. It's just a thing of that... You know, you've got to figure out what to do, and then, you know, the rest of it takes care of itself once you once you land the first hit. <laughs> Ooh, red rupee. 20 rupees in one. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Blue is worth five, green is worth one. It changes from game to game a lot. So, well, not a lot of times, but it, it does change. <laughs> All right, going up. Third floor. Hmm. Mm, lots of poison. Hmm, hmm. Weird floor panels. Oh shoot, I'm I'm cutting the pots too early, aren't I? <laughs> oh, what might that be? Look at that keyhole, Link! I think you need a special key to unlock it! Do I know? Well, it certainly does look different. A keyhole that big needs a big key! Well, <laughs> I guess that, uh... That, that would be self-explanatory, but... Hmm, hmm, that certainly looks like a pretty big key. But it's all blocked in, so what the poop can we do about that dupe? Well, let's just go around and see what we can do. There, because there's there's more to see around here. Mm, hello there. What's that breakable for? It's got nothing. To, oh, blast worm! See that? See that? It it turns into a bomb. <laughs> a spiky bomb. But uh, you know, I killed it. Well, don't worry, don't worry. There's an unlimited amount of them, which is a good hint that you gotta use them for something. Like, say, blasting your way through that wall. Ho 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 yes! Should I break them? Yeah, I guess so, I guess so. Oh, wait, I... <sighs> I ran right into it. I wanted to get close so I could see all that was on the screen, but I got a little bit too close to it. Uh, okay, I just wanna clear out as much of this as I can. That's why I wanted to get close to it, because then I can see as much of it on screen as possible. Uh, there's one little puff left over there, I think. Uh, mm. Oop, no, 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 no. Oop, no, no. Mm, eh, mm. 
There we go. We're all clear. We're all clear. <laughs> um, before I grab that, this time I think I'm actually gonna just just for the sake of showing you once. Uh, I'm gonna pay that. This this should just show you. Yeah, I just want to show you just once. Unless I really need it in the future, like if I forget the location of a chest or something like that. So yeah, this is a different dialogue here. If I, if I say no, it'll be like, I see. Well, whatever, do what you want. Bye now! And then it goes back to sleep. So then I gotta play this song again. Luckily, you can play it super quick. Just like you can play songs super quick in Ocarina of Time when there's a lot of notes. <laughs> Think of the Bolero of Fire, for instance. Okay, so this time I'm gonna pay him just for the sake of... Alright, here's all the treasure chests on this floor! Write a note on your map so you don't forget. See how it, yeah, it's marked th thusly, and then you would just do your usual marks on the maps and whatnot, but... I'm, I'm good here. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and there's only this one. Pirate necklace. Interesting. Interesting. That one's definitely going up on eBay. <laughs> And that finally opens that door over there. So we may now go around and down. Oh no, blast one. <laughs> I'll just leave you over there. Have a good time blowing up that other block. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I wonder what we have to do here. <laughs> oh, of course you know what to do here. Uh, I gotta get the right angle here, is that right? Uh, nope, not quite. I nicked the other one. That's okay, I made it wider. I made it wider. <laughs> is that good enough, or is that gonna fall in the hole? Well, I might still be able to get it, if I'm quick enough. Yeah! <laughs> and that'll open the door by the big key! Woo! And we're off. <laughs> Now remember the locations of these swirly panels on the floor here? Well, actually you don't have to remember them, it's just... Well, I'll show you what they do. <laughs> I pointed them out earlier for a reason, let's put it that way. That big key looks like you'll open the door in the center of the room. Let's take it over there! Okay... I'd recommend uh, making sure your health is filled if you're going to experiment with this. But first, read this here. It looks like a map of this room. What are these skulls and what does this arrow mean? Well, let's do a doodle here. So we want to... well, that's that's terrible line work, but... Mm, yeah, we just basically want to get around there. Yeah, I don't even have to put an arrow, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to grab this and we're off. We are off. You notice that there are swirly tiles underneath the key as well. Let's go on these swirly tiles. Oh, red alert! Red alert! Key masters! Key masters everywhere! We're all gonna die! Drop the key! Oh no! We've been caught! They're going to take the key back! We're gonna get away from them! <laughs> well, they're significantly faster than we are, so... Yeah, they will hurt you if they touch you, so and make you drop the key, they'll grab the key back to the start. So you do not want to activate the key masters if you can help it. <laughs> Got it? Good. So they they create a neat little element going on here. But as you've seen by our doodle, we already have the solution. Just follow the path of the line. And basically that line is telling you to go around anywhere that there's those swirly panels on the ground, you know, the swirly tiles on the ground. So you really don't need the markings per se, you just need to realize that it's telling you to walk on these surfaces and not the tiles. Got it? Good. Alright. There we go. Oh man, oh man, are you excited? Because the big bad boss is coming. <laughs> But first, an intermission. Recover your health? Well, getting any sort of collectibles too, I, I suppose. I guess it's all pretty much health related stuff. Okay, that is, that's understandable. That's a lot of hearts though for this point in the game, because remember, the game's been pretty linear so far, so you can't really do all that many side quests, so you're, you're gonna still end up at three hearts at this point. Step into the blue light to return to the temple entrance. Do I need to show that? Do I need to? I guess I could show it. I mean, I did already kind of show it back over at the um, uh, the other temple. Yeah, the Tower of Spirits. But the th yeah, I, I just might as well show you where this one leads to. <laughs> All right, you good? 
I'm good. We're good. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Now this screen is perfectly seamless over here. It's not like on the other screens where there is a where there expects to be a spacing over here. But man, this is one big bug. <laughs> Meet the boss, no nails. Come on, say it already. Come on, say it. Say it. You know you want to. It should, there we go. Stagnox, the armored colossus. Not to be confused with the shadow of the colossus. So we're just gonna kind of go and wait for him to try and attack us unsuccessfully. Yeah, you go behind its stinky back. Attack! That's how it's done. The pots around the room all contain hearts, basically, so don't use them. I should say, don't break them unless you have to. Yeah, it's just, you just avoid its attacks, no big deal. You just go around behind, you have a lot of time to do so, and then you go and tap that butt like no one's tapped that butt before. Like what? I, I may have gone too far. <laughs> and now things are changing. Things are changing! It's flying! And how the poop were you supposed to get it up there? Well, now, this is why I like having the touch, that touch screen and regular screen on, you know, like the actual DS, because this is accurately how it would be. <laughs> and this is very useful like this, as opposed to putting them side by side or something like that. Alright, I, I, I think I think you're getting the idea of what we need to do now that we got some blast ones going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! Feel the power of my sword! And it's, it's a couple more gonna drop down from the ceiling eventually. Unless it's gonna do a dash before that? Nah, I guess not. Alright, let's stun him and prepare our whirlwind! Mm, mm, this'll do. This'll do. Wait for it! Wait for it! Victory is mine! Because it should be it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Basically two rapid, ruthless attacks by Link per cycle, and you've got it. What is this? Could it be? No, it can't be. Surely it couldn't be a Force Gem from, like, Four Swords Adventures, could it? Ah, but it actually is. <laughs> And now you're about to see a, f a familiar symbol that we've seen a couple times of like clothing and statues and stuff like that along the way, unless you haven't noticed it. It is the symbol of the Locomos. And this comes down on top of it. Oh yeah, baby! Yep, that's what those symbols are referring to. <laughs> and hold on. Watch that track go. Woo! Holy poopers, that sucker's really going. I think it's going even faster than how the tracks reformed. They're going at 300 miles per hour. This one's going at 500. <laughs> So there it is, going to the Tower of Spirits, and check it out! One of those floating pieces that were stuck up there is being snapped right back down to where it was! Woo! So that means we've got a couple more floors to explore over there. Oh boy! Oh boy! Don't, no, don't, don't, I, I, I heard you say that, it's not like the Temple of the Ocean King. You'll see when we get back over there, okay? Okay. Good job, Link! The forest realm map started glowing! Woo! We got a new track over there! Yay! <laughs> and the chests! What does this chest contain? Well, traditionally in Zelda... Look, Link! You can return to the temple entrance in there. Let's go back. But yeah, traditionally in Zelda, when you beat a, beat a dungeon, you get a heart container. Woo! So now we went from three to four. Yeah, and we did not need 
any sort of potions whatsoever to get there. Yeah, we're feeling like a pro. <laughs> Back out we go. Woo! Beautiful room for a boss, too, by the way. You know, to have a boss battle in. And, uh, yeah, I guess you could pop back over there, too, if you'd like, but, eh, no, nah, I don't think so. All right, let's go back over to the Tower of Spear. Well, actually, I think there's a smidge of dialogue that we can get from the townsfolk at uh, Hyrule Castle Town. But not the, not the guards, if I recall correctly, but let's just go ahead and doodle our way around here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. So now you see that there's some trains back on the tracks there, but, um... Well, let's just say they aren't what you think they are. <laughs> let's just put it that way. But yeah, we're gonna go over to the castle, and we're gonna take this other route over here. Like, remember I said I was gonna take this route first, and then go around this way for the other route? But here we go, taking that other route. Heck yeah, baby. I should also, just for the sake of marking... Um, put a little mark here, because that's a spot that we haven't been to yet. Just kind of go through there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and we're going to see these sorts of tracks over through here a little bit later on. But I just want to mark stuff for the future just to, just in case I forget. Because, you know, my memory, it, it sucks. <laughs> Especially when there's a lot of stuff going on in the game, like trying to remember where... Uh, uh, collectibles are, or, uh, say, heart pieces. Well, not heart pieces, heart containers. Yeah. <laughs> this is sometimes, and you're, you, you, you're thinking of one thing, you forget to check another thing, you get a one-track mine, so maybe it's not necessarily forgetfulness in my case, because I do know games pretty well. I don't like the ones that I play, unless it's blind or something like that, of course. Uh, at least for the most part, so... Yeah, it's just more of a thing of that I get distracted. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but it's okay. We can always go back. That's the power of cuts. And here are those trains that are uh, on the tracks that... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Demon trains have come alive. <laughs> and they're coming for us. Well, sort of. They're like the other trains and that they follow around a certain pathway, but they're more... Like, they don't stay around in the circles like the other ones did. They, they go around a little bit more freely, I guess you could say. Whoa, what was that? I don't know what just happened, but it doesn't look good. Let's just stay away from those trains. I think that would be best. Yes, it definitely would be, because I do know that they will one-hit kill you. But I want to give you a little idea of what their music sounds like, so I'm going to slow down here and listen. That, yeah, when you get close to one of these things, it's like, oh my god, you're gonna die. <laughs> and there's also these things, these arches on the tracks here. You might wanna, I wanna make a little mark here. Uh, that's not even close to being over the track, is it? Uh, I just wanna do a little mark that looks like an arch. There we go. Just, just for the future. Just, just for the future. Let's not be too hasty about not marking stuff down. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So, basically, when I make a mark, make yourself a mark. And yeah, that one is following me, by the way. <laughs> we're okay, though. Uh, actually, we're, we might not be okay. Hold on, because that one, I'm not sure if it's going to turn. Hold on. Yeah, it's going to go straight. So I'm going to want to go and uh, zip back along here, if you don't mind. And it looks like I'm going to end up having to take these two new tracks here anyway, because that... Yeah, the demon trains there, it, it took a different path than what I was expecting. Oh, I, I was actually going to go down that route because I wanted to show you there's another bunny over here. But since I know there's another bunny over here, I'm just going to, uh... Yeah. <laughs> let's, just, let's just do that. Just make things a little simple. <laughs> we, are, we were already down that corner before. It's just that there wasn't a bunny there before to actually show you. At least I don't think there was at that point. But... <clears throat> Actually, I think they're called rabbits in this game, not bunnies, but I, I, I guess I guess similar. <laughs> All right, new tracks, ahoy! Woo! And I, I am still aiming to go over to Castle Town, but uh, not really until I, uh, you know, actually can get there safely. Like, I, I like I know I'm on the track to uh, going over to. 
over, yeah, the Tower of Spirits, but uh, that is not what I want to go to right now. <laughs> so yeah, the now that you got a little crash course on the demon trains of how they move and stuff like that, and how, like, like you, you might have actually had a different path that they went through on your particular playthrough, so it's vital that you watch whatever direction they're going to on the arrows and adjust your route accordingly. I think it is possible for them to actually trap you, like, between them, so I'd be very careful of that as well. Um, but, you know, if you save often and, and whatnot, you shouldn't have all that, any sort of issue or anything like that. I'm just not saving right now because, you know, for the sake of the walkthrough and stuff like that. And... Heartbreak! And we're done. <laughs> Alright, let's get our bits of dialogue and maybe I'll pick up a potion this time. It's been so long since I've been home. I wonder how Alfonso and Tichu are. Well, we could go over there and see too, but I don't think they'll have anything... Well, oh, maybe they do have one more. Uh, but let's first start over here. I don't know if there'll be anything special over by Bunny Girl. Now they're saying that the tracks never really disappeared? I don't know who to trust anymore. What's more, my husband hasn't come home yet. What happened to him? He's just a decent, nice fellow who likes rabbits. I hope he's alright. Hmm. Hmm, maybe it's not her that likes rabbits, but someone else that does. That she knows that happens to be her husband, and it, okay, that's not just happens to be he is her husband, but we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later on. Oh, did you hear the great news? The spirit tracks are back, Link! But I still wonder why the tracks vanished in the first place. Wasn't that weird? Yeah, I guess. I mean, uh, I, I have an explanation, but you won't believe it. <laughs> the tracks are back! Isn't it just wonderful? Huh, you say the one you restored them? Oh, stop pulling my legs. See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. Well, whatever. At least I can have... At least that now I can have fresh fish again. If you get a chance to transport some goods, please bring me some fish. Okie dokie. So here's our shop. Let's finally go buy that potion. <laughs> Why, hello! Welcome to my store! You have many fabulous items that are sure to please. Take a look around. Hello there, potion. Delightful. That's just like a little fail-safe item, I guess you could say. Yeah, you just tap it to use it on the collection. And you could actually grab another one, but I'm gonna save that for a different kind of potion in the future, But because I'm probably not even gonna use this potion all that often unless I really mess up a lot, so I, I think I'll only need one. So I think I'm just gonna leave that open along with uh, having my rupees freed. Oh, actually, you know what I should do here while I'm uh, here as well? Uh, I'm gonna buy more prize postcards. I know, I know, I still haven't used them, the, the other ones that I have in my inventory, but I just want to give myself a decent chance by putting in as many of those things as humanly possible. Well, I, I guess I could put more in, but I want to save my rupees just in case I need them. <laughs> I'm not too, too concerned about getting prizes because it's not super, super important, but well, I just want to show you them at the very least. I thought the rails had disappeared, but I guess they're back now. What in the world is going on here? Who knows? Who knows? As my eyes are rolling. <laughs> and finally, do you have anything to s Oh! you have anything to say about the tracks? Oh, there, my green friend. How are you? This is where you play. Take them all on! As the name suggests, your mission is to knock down every enemy in sight. Now make more mistake. This isn't a game for the faint of hearts. Wanna play? Eh, I guess I could try it. Is that a tinkle in you I see in your eye? Okay, listen up, Greenie. It's simple. I'll open a door for you in a second. Just past the door in a monster-infested dungeon. It's... I'm just past the door as a monster-infested dungeon. It's no place for weaklings. Your goal is to get rid of all the baddies and get to the end of the dungeon. However, you'll find nothing to restore your health inside. Nothing at all! Can, can take a potion with you, though. Depending on where you are, your items won't work either. Oh man! <laughs> So watch out. If you pay attention, it'll be lights out before you know it, Greenie. Now, what will it be? You want to play Take Them All On? Yeah! Playing once caused... Aww. Okay, fine. Okay, honestly, that's why I saved my rupees. <laughs> I want to do one of these. See, the, it, this one's opened up, but the other two are not. So I thought, eh, I'll do this one now for kicks. It's not that difficult or anything like that. Oh man, so many critters! So many critters! <laughs> <laughs> Will I be able to do it? Yeah, I should be able to. <laughs> they're, they're making it seem like that this is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> just, just mash the touch screen on the enemies and there you go. 
I do believe I should be able to complete this one at this point in the game. Like, I don't think I need to have any sort of special items to be able to pull this off. So, eh, we'll see. Oh no, Octorox! Octorox, they're gonna shoot us! They're gonna shoot us! Well, maybe not. If you have a shield, oh, and you're, and you're facing them, you can use your shield to block their projectiles like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man, I'm getting too overconfident. <laughs> So how many floors are there here? I honestly kind of forgot. <laughs> oh no, rats! Oh no, oh that's right, because I need to use... Yeah, they aren't like the regular bubbles where um, uh, you could just uh, knock them back with your shield or something like that. We need to go ahead and... Oh no, 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 okay. Just get ourselves in a better position. There we go. <laughs> what? Did I just take damage? Really? Seriously? I'm doing that badly? <laughs> okay, okay, relax, relax. Just recompose yourself, PK Gam. These are just basic early game enemies. <laughs> I know you're struggling a bit with your control setup, but that that's no excuse. You can just move your fingers around and use your middle finger a little bit a little bit better there. There we go. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll shoot at them like there we go. From a safe distance. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm used to playing on the actual DS, but I'm I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> there we go. Will I need to use my potion by the end of it? Will I even be able to use my potion by the end of it? Well, actually, it looks like I can. <laughs> oh yeah, there is. I forgot to mention. There's actually a. Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure what that even is. Like, yeah, what is that? <laughs> Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> Is that like counting the seconds of how long you're taking here? That certainly seems plausible. Like, let's wait a few more. 32 now? 31. Okay, that is actually a timer. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Obviously, this is not the sort of place that I come to often. <laughs> uh, okay. No droppages. Obviously, there won't be any hearts, because as, as you heard, there are no... No ways to recover your health along the way. You just kind of, just kind of take things as they come. And I'm not actually gonna, like, get close to them to explode them. I'm just gonna kind of let them explode themselves, <laughs> just for the sake of playing it safe. How's that sound? Oh, okay. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> And no oh man keys. This actually could be oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh it's just oh shoot. Quarter damage. Quarter damage. Actually I should I could probably actually just do that. Kinda stun him a little bit. That would that would help too. <laughs> oh yeah, that also helps. Like a pro. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the keys are the, are the more wiggly kinds of enemies. They're harder to hit. I don't know why I had so much difficulties with, with those bubbles of all things, but all right. Oh man. Oh man. Oh no. Two Mothila. Two Mothila. This is. This is not looking good. Actually, you know what? I probably should do that. <laughs> Just in case, because they might try and attack me at the same time. Okay. Oh, here we go. Let's get ourselves set up here. I think that this one this is closest. It'll probably be the one that'll fire off a skull first. Yeah, you. Yeah, I, I'm looking for a projectile here. We uh, we just defeated you over at the temple. <laughs> well, I should say another one of you at the temple. You're not a difficult boss by any means, but, uh, you know, I, I, I've still got to defeat you. And I've got to do it carefully. You know, if I don't take any damage from this fight, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to regret using that potion. <laughs> oh, shoot, I, I did that a little early. did that a little early. It did not spawn the skull just yet. Oops. Accidentally slid my finger over there and hit it, but that's okay. We're, we're still, we're still in this fight. <laughs> yeah, you can only get one hit per, per attack cycle, I guess you could say, or you could call it. And fire victory, and this is the last floor. Woo! Yay! So this is kind of, sort of like the, the pit of 100 trials. <laughs> I guess you could call it. Uh, well, I guess that wouldn't be the Zelda equivalent of it. Oh no, that isn't the last floor! Oh, oh man, oh shoot! I thought that was. Well, this could actually pose a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be extra careful if I'm gonna... 
Oh man, oh man, I'm a little bit nervous now. Okay, maybe not that nervous. <laughs> I forgot how long this was, what this thing was, but <laughs> eh. Eh. we'll be okay. <laughs> Choo choos, spy nuts. I'll just probably should do that because we're, we're getting we're getting a little swamped over here. <laughs> Yeah, always, always keep in mind you've got a spin attack. Spin attacks, very useful to charging enemies. Like if a lot of enemies are charging at once, just spin around like crazy a couple times. You should be able to clear out the hordes. <clears throat> oh, jeez. I'm doing this on a rather low uh, health bar here, too. <laughs> we actually get the boss of the... Yeah, I, I, I really forgot about this place. Because, uh, yeah, this is the actual end. It, it wasn't Mothula. It was, um, oh great, now I'm, now I'm drawing a blank as to what the boss's name is. Maybe they'll repeat it. Maybe they'll repeat it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Stagnox, okay. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel silly, because I was just over there. <laughs> I, guess, I just kept thinking that, hmm, is this going to end? Oops, I didn't mean to do that! Yeah, that is something you can do on this boss room. <laughs> We're okay, though. We're, we're okay. <laughs> That's probably the dumbest way I could possibly take a hit on this boss, though, but... <laughs> we'll be alright. It's not a difficult boss. We should be peachy keen, just as long as we avoid those hits. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the, the boss that I remembered here was definitely... I mean, I should say the boss in the last room that I remembered here was not... Mothula. I mean, Mothula was a part of it, that, you know, having to get there. But it was this one! The big bad... repeat. <laughs> if you have a handle on how to defeat the bosses, you shouldn't have much ire in this whatsoever. But, uh, well, if, if, I, if I jump off the edge accidentally again, I might have ire. <laughs> well, let's, let's try not to do that, shall we? Alright, we're just waiting. We're waiting. We're enjoying ourselves, and that should be good. What? That wasn't good! That wasn't good! Are you, are you kidding me? What happened? <laughs> Tell me what happened! <laughs> it must have started falling out of the sky before it actually touched its hitbox or something like that. I know what happened. But that's At least that's my best guess. That's probably what happened. Alright, let's wait it out once again, and then we can do our hyper-attacking. Like mad! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> I have faith that you can drop down. Woo! Actually, I think I had some slowdown there. I just didn't really notice as I was talking like a madman. But I always talk like a madman, so that might explain why I miss a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, one more I should do. Unless there's a secret third phase, but I don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> Let's just put, that, put it that way. Whoops. Well, we only need one of them. Doesn't really matter. Alright. Here we go, here we go. Just as long as it's got that sunburst of sorts, we should get it attracted to our whirlwind. And victory is ours. Woohoohoo! I just beat you, so I don't feel that accomplished. <laughs> Although it is kind of nice to have them all together, so that you don't forget uh, how to defeat said boss. But alas, alas, there's no symbol of the locomos that pops up over here. This is just but a mere simulation by imitation Jolene. <laughs> Good work, Greeny! You made it to the end of the dungeon, thank you! Your time was 7.50, not bad at all. So yeah, I guess that pause was, uh, where you can see your time. Here's your prize this time. Hope you like it. What do I get? What do I get? It's a hot container! Very worth doing, as you can see. I hope you come and try again. I'm expecting big things from you, boy. Uh, but I don't think we have the ability to, uh, do anything else right here right now, because you, you'll notice that there aren't... See, there's these other two doors, and they're not glowing open, so... I'm out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to redo the same one again. Uh, I think I got everything over here now. Uh, but I, what I can do, I suppose, is check out the prize board. Uh, let's see here. Yes, we can possibly win ourselves some treasure, alchemy stone, pearl necklace, or 20 rupees. Uh, I, I guess I'll just throw the cards in there and see what we get. 
Is that, let's just see here. Yes, value customer here for all your postal needs. No postcards mailed. Yeah, those postcards, you can mail up to 20 a day. That's another reason why I didn't buy more postcards because I literally did max it out, but I didn't want to say that I maxed it out because I wanted to tell you it here. But I almost, well, I mean, I guess I did sort of spoil it back there when I said that I got as many as I could. But then I, you know, I, I pretended that I didn't know. Well, you get what I'm saying, I flubbed it. <laughs> okay, let's put in all those postcards that I can possibly do. I'm all, uh, did you see it? Ma I said I mailed five postcards. I'll, I should give you that. Tim, you may mail ten postcards today in case you're running a mail up to twenty a day. Here's the dialogue. Thank you. I'll take it from here. I hope you can come with mail with me again. It'll say that every time, no matter how many. And yeah, now we gotta wait until it'll actually send me something like the results of the contest. So, the, and the more postcards you send in, the better chances you'll have at that. That's why I sent in so many postcards. <laughs> it's like, it literally cost me 200 rupees just to send in that many postcards, just for the sake of showing you this thing that's not super important at this time. <laughs> But, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the person that shows stuff even if I don't have to show. <laughs> Working this post, I don't exactly get tons of opportunities to go outside. That explains it. <laughs> so I guess there is a bit of dialogue, or I should say new dialogue going on in here. Chancellor doesn't return since the incident. Is the princess really gone? Well, that kind of thing isn't my concern, so I'll just keep it to myself for now. After all, making a ruckus by yourself isn't any good. Uh, at least it looks like he's still out. Oh, my head! Who are those guys? I hope the princess is okay. You were stabbed in the chest! That He didn't hit your head! Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe we can get some uh, extra dialogue here, because I, I didn't think we could get extra dialogue here, but I guess we can. So let's check around. Looks like the spirit tracks are back to normal. Well, now the princess has gone missing. Honestly, no, now that the chancellor's gone, I'm kind of relieved. He's not the nicest guy I've ever met. <laughs> if only you knew. <laughs> it's one of those sorts of toxic people. <laughs> that, that's, uh, I mean, I should say he goes beyond just regular toxicity. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <clears throat> uh, maybe, maybe we can hear... Uh, I don't know, maybe... Uh, I was expecting to see the teacher hanging around here. With the princess gone, the castle just isn't the same. Wish I could look for her, but then who would watch this empty room? <laughs> see, it's worth it to see this bit, these bits of dialogue. It's just so silly. Uh, no. Teacher isn't hanging around here. So I'll do a loop around the, the second floor. See if he's hanging around. I don't know... If, he, if he's even here. I know he comes around later in a more easily accessible location, but it's just a thing of seeing new dialogue, basically. <laughs> uh, okay, so, oh, that's not, that's definitely not the way that we want to go, because we can't, we can't jump up. We can only jump down. So you can't use the secret window to come back in. Well, I should say secret door to come back in through this door. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's probably a guard hanging out over here as usual. You there. I just did a fancy roll in front of you. You got something to say. Oh, hey, you should just want to... Same dialogue. Okay, so that's why I thought that they w there wouldn't be new dialogue. Because some of these do have repeats uh, that kind of knock out the interesting factor. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the same. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I should just cut around. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're okay. It doesn't take me too long to get from person to person, after all. Uh, next thing when I do, when I come back out here, is gonna I'm gonna use that door. Someone will relieve me soon. I've been here all day by myself. It's a little lonely. <laughs> I, come to think of it, I wonder, does this guy here, if there is still a guy here... Uh, okay, I was gonna say, if that guy is still here, that, the one that got attacked by the spy nuts. If he was still there, I, I would be very surprised, but I, I think it's actually that guy over there. <laughs> and open says me! Whee! Alright, now for you. And the spirit tracks have returned? Great! But you know who hasn't returned? The princess! Where could she be? She's with Bowser. <laughs> At least that's what I would say if this was a Mario game, because that, that would make the most sense. Um, yeah, I think... 
because yeah, those stairs that just lead back over to the second floor, which I was already by, you guys. Got the princess to be kidnapped. Oh, stop messing with us. Not our fault if we don't have anything to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. That yeah, is the same dialogue, indeed. Don't bother me anymore. Yep, yeah, okay. So now that we got a little side quest done here that we are finally able to do because we had the whirlwind. Because remember, you know, that's not going to be open because we can't defeat those enemies without the whirlwind. But yeah, I'm going to end off the part here and maybe our postcards will have percolated by the end of the next part or something. I don't know. I don't know. Well, well, we'll see. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part when I... Well, go back to the Tower of Spirits, I suppose. <laughs>